Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of the Foggy Jack Live Podcast, and happy Halloween. This is my favorite day of the year. Today, we're going to talk my top 10 Halloween songs. I thought it would be very fitting. Um, We're going to put in some uh, Halloween songs uh, through this episode. Whatever I can put in, I'm going to put in. And yesterday, if you uh, tuned in, I also put out a very spooky old-time radio show. So today, let's jump in to my top 10 Halloween songs. All right, everybody, we're going to go and we're going to talk about my top 10 Halloween songs. Um, Let's see here. There's actually 13 because I thought that would be fun. There's three runner-ups on this list. This list really isn't in a particular order except really the top three. Um, So I'm just going to, I'm going to kind of just go through this list until I hit the top three and we'll talk about the runner, the runners up and we'll go from there. So the first one on my list that I put down is the classic by Avenged Sevenfold, Nightmare. I remember when this song came out, I was in junior high, and I just got into listening to kind of rock. I didn't really listen to much of anything else other than country, and so I am, and still to this day, uh, Avenged Sevenfold kind of has that place in my heart of just the nostalgia of being a kid. Um, I remember blasting Avenged Sevenfold while playing Left 4 Dead. That That's a core memory right there. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a really good song, and it's a really creepy music video also. So I think it goes really well with this, with this list. Um, next is Deo, the Banana Boat song from Beetlejuice. Who doesn't love Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Um, it's just a classic song, and I saw the I saw the Broadway play of Beetlejuice. Oh, Chef's Kiss! That's such a good play, um, and such a classic, iconic movie. And so you have to listen to Deo, the Banana Boat song, when it comes to Halloween. You just have to. Next is Abracadabra, um, Abra Abra. Cadabra. I used this song um, in my latest, the, the last uh, promo video I made uh, for Magic. I used that vi- the song. I start out with this, I start out with the song actually playing, and then a sock puppet jumps up and goes, whoa, 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 you can't use this. You're going to get copyrighted, and you're going go to go you're going to get fined and all this stuff, and so then I just like cut out, and I just say the words to the song. I thought it was really funny. I don't know if anybody else thought it was really funny. I got a few bookings from it, so (laughs) I guess it worked. Um, Next is the absolute classic, classic of Halloween, Spooky Scary Skeletons. Because who doesn't love Spooky Scary Skeletons? Such a good song. Such a great, amazing song for Halloween. I mean, I listen to it all year long um, because why not, right? I listen to all these songs all year long. I, I have a Halloween playlist that is downloaded on Spotify. So if I'm in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere, and I need to listen to music, I can press play and listen to my Halloween playlist that I think is like five or six hours long. That's how much Halloween music I have on this list. Um, next is Monster Mash, another classic, classic song by the... Boris, Bobby Boris Pickett. Um, he does a lot of other songs. Like, um, oh shit! Now that I want to tell you, I can't think of them. Um, he does a lot of Halloween songs. A lot of you know iconic, classic, spooky songs um, that you can listen to. Those are great, always. 
Um, and then here we go with, uh, I think, my uh, theme song of life. Uh, people are strange. Yeah, people are strange. When you're a stranger, faces look ugly. When you're alone, women seem wicked. When you're unwanted, people are strange. Foggy Jack is strange and unusual. All right. <laughs> Next one is the Disney classic Grim Grinning Ghosts. Because the Haunted Mansion is just so integral to Halloween, you have to love Grim Grinning Ghosts. You have to love the the, the singing busts. And you just think so. I, I, for me, I love... Um, I love the Haunted Mansion and Pirates of the Caribbean and um, those rides that Walt Disney touched. That is that is why I'm so ingrained and enthralled when it comes to Disney, Mickey Mouse, and Walt Disney. Is I just I look up to Walt Disney so much. Um, I think he was just such an iconic and legendary person. And, you know, I strive to, you know, be, even have a fragment of creativity that he that he did. And so when it comes to Disney, and that's, you know, I have the Disneyland logo on my arm. I have Walt and Mickey on my arm. It's because I just, it's so ingrained in me and I love it so much. And so when it comes to, you know, my favorite rides at Disneyland, you know, even though Walt didn't see the opening of Haunted Mansion, he died, he he passed away um, in 65, and I believe Haunted Mansion opened in 67. But he still touched it. He still molded it and created it and, you know, put the Walt touch on the Haunted Mansion. And that's why I love it so very much. And that is why Grim Grinning Ghost is something you have to listen to every Halloween. All right, we're going to do our three runners up, which is first witchy woman by the eagles because it's such a uh a good song to listen to all year round um because who doesn't love the eagles but it's just a good song to be like yeah it's halloween time you witchy woman <laughs> next one is don't fear the reaper don't fear the reaper do don't fear the reaper that's a good one oh it's always so good so good. Always. And then last in our runner-up category is the Crip Jam. Because um, now that I want to say the name, I can't think of the name. The Crip, Cre the Crip Ke Keeper. God. Um, I unfortunately, you know, you can't really find where to uh, watch the original, you know, stories from the Crypt. But um, unless you want to buy them. They're not streaming anywhere, which I find frustrating. But you can, you know, see the... I think it's like the second movie or the third movie is on, like, Tubi. Which isn't, like... It's it's not bad. It's not, you know, it's not the classic, though. It's not the classic. Because everyone wants the classic. Um, and that wraps up our runner-up list. Now, here we are at our top three songs for Halloween. Number three. And this one is in order. Number three is this is halloween because who doesn't love nightmare before christmas and you can argue day and night back and forth for hours upon hours if nightmare before christmas is a halloween movie or if it's a halloween movie is it christmas or halloween no one really knows but you know what i say it's a thanksgiving movie I just want to make people mad. So I'm just going to say it's a Thanksgiving movie. It goes in between the both, but you can watch it all year long. I actually never knew. Um, growing up, I never, I don't think I ever watched Nightmare Before Christmas until like, oh, I was in my late teens. Um, and I never knew it came out in the 90s. So that's that tells you how inspired I was when I was younger um, by these great movies. But this is Halloween. There's so many covers of this song. Uh, the original, always fantastic. Um, there's a few like heavy metal rock uh, covers that are really, really good. My personal favorite, um, because I really like this 
um, artist, even though he's shrouded in controversy. Who isn't shrouded in controversy? Right. My personal favorite cover of This Is Halloween is by Marilyn Manson. Um, Disney put out uh, an album a while ago um, that had a bunch of rock, heavy metal, you know, bands cover the Nightmare Before Christmas songs. Um, this is Halloween was covered by Marilyn Manson and, uh, Kidnap Sandy Claus was, um, covered by Korn. Uh, Korn is another band that digs deep into my soul and for lots of dark, dark reasons that we're not going to talk about on this podcast. All right, here we go. Number two, number two on this list is I put a spell on you. Now you can go with the original version of, um, now I can't think of his name. You can go with the original version of this song, or you can go with a Bette Midler uh, version of this song. The Bette Midler version of this song to me sticks out way more iconically because of Hocus Pocus. Um, I also a few years back went and saw a Halloween themed drag show in Salt Lake City, uh, Viva La Diva. If you're ever in Salt Lake City and you want something to do, and they're doing a show, go check them out. That is an amazing, amazing drag show. Um, and they did, uh, their, you know, Sanderson sister rendition of this song and it's always stuck in my head. Um, but this song, I put a spell on you just so iconic and so amazing when it comes to Halloween, you have, you have to watch Nightmare Before Christmas and you have to watch Hocus Pocus, even the second one, which isn't, doesn't a hundred percent live up to the, the first cause you can't live up to the first Hocus Pocus. But you can watch the second one too. I won't. I won't be mad. I actually kind of enjoy the second one, to be honest. Um, I, you know, it's it's good. It's a good movie. If you want to watch them, I don't know how I feel about the third one coming out, but that's that's another podcast. All right, and to wrap up this list, this top thirteen uh, songs to listen to Halloween, inspired by your own your own truly, Foggy Jack. Shock Bazaar, Mental Mentalist, coming in at number one, Time Warped, from Rocky Horror Picture Show. People, I keep seeing this meme, uh, this this meme that goes around, and it's like, um, I can judge you based on what you know this character, this guy from, and it's Tim Curry. Um, it's true. I can, I can, I can definitely judge your character, because if, if you, you know, say the Thornberries... I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to question your thoughts. I'm going to question your life choices um because if the the answer to that is not Rocky Horror Picture Show, I don't know if we can 100% be friends. Just joking guys. Uh but but truly, Rocky Horror Picture Show is one of the greatest horror movies of all time. I said it. One of the greatest horror movies of all time. One of the greatest movies of all time and Tim Curry is just the absolute most phenomenal frankenfurter there has ever been um and i'll even give it to you here this is bonus my top three horror movies of all time number one is rocky horror picture show i joke i lied ha my top three horror movies of all time number one the original halloween with jamie lee curtis number two is rocky horror picture show and number three is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. That wraps up our list. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for joining me here down in the pumpkin patch where the haunters meet the haunted. I'm your host, Foggy Jack, the Shock Bazaar Mental Mentalist, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>